Can you see me? In here somewhere? What's up guys? Devin is here. I'm here with my beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. And um, it needed a little bit of TLC. I had to undo all of the all of like the ties that were holding it up against um, the moss pole. And I figured I would take this opportunity to show you guys how I like to kind of adhere um, my Monstera stems and petioles to the moss pole so that it can grow upright. That's why we love the moss poles because they really they really help your Monsteras grow kind of in that upright fashion. Like if you think of Monsteras out in the wild, out in Colombia, where they just kind of climb up and climb up gorgeous trees, just making their way all around them. That's kind of what the, mon what the moss pole is there for. I love bamboo stakes. Um, if maybe you've seen my video about staking Monstera with uh, using bamboo stakes. But I think over the last year, having used this moss pole, I've become converted to a fan of the moss pole. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'll show you guys how I like to use string to help my monstera climb up. So as you can see, I have one, two, three main stems here on my plant and each of those stems is providing, I don't know, four to five leaves. And really three stems is a great number um, to get a really nice full filled out look, I, I think. Um, it, maybe you saw my, my tips for monstera growth where I am consistently cutting out stems and leaves that I don't necessarily need. I want big leaves, I don't need a ton, but I do want all of my leaves to kind of face in the same direction because I have a really nice corner that I've picked out in my office where I'm gonna be displaying this beauty, okay? So the first thing that you will notice when we have our moss pole is that I have it kind of situated towards like the back of the pot. I don't like to have it in the middle, I want the plant in the middle, and then I have the moss pole just behind, um, just behind that plant. It allows for the most optimal growth of roots. Now it's really best to put the moss pole in right at the beginning, um, but Monstera, as you know, they are a weed out in areas of the world where they're native to. So if you do need to put, put it down in the pot after your plant has already been growing, it's okay. Maybe you're gonna damage the roots a little bit, but they're such resilient plants, they will you know, pick right back up where they left off, all right? So one of the hardest things is actually kind of deciding where you want to use the string. So you really need to spend some time playing around, kind of like, do I want the stem there? Do I want it here? Do I want it there? You gotta take some time to kind of decide that. And I had been messing around a little bit, and I think that I want it right there. So once you kind of have that spot, hold it tight, this is the really hard part. You need like seven hands in order to do this job. Take your string. I like using this green string because it's like basically camouflage. So what you want to actually do is you wrap the string around the moss pole, 360 degrees, and then you wrap it around the stem. That's gonna put most of the pressure on the moss pole rather than on the stem. So this plant has kind of like three main stems growing. So I wanna do at least one string for each stem. Here you can see what it looked like without any string, totally splayed out. So you can see the first thing, do an entire loop around the moss pole and then Now here you can see just, a, just above those nodes. You don't wanna break your Monstera. So one thing that you'll notice is that I have this string. Basically, I wrap the string around where I want it to hold up, and then I take the string and I do an entire loop around the moss pole, just like that, and then tie it there. That's gonna allow most of the pressure to be kind of um, given from the moss pole rather than putting a lot more pressure on our petioles or onto our stems, okay? So start by kind of playing around, figuring out where you want the leaves to actually be, all right? So that's really important. Do you want it here? Do you want it there? Um, create the look that you're trying to achieve. I think right there is a good spot for me. 
And I take my string, start by wrapping it around the petioles just like this. And then, like I was saying, I will do an entire wrap all the way around the stem. If you have someone to help you, it would be ideal. Have a Monstera staking party. I wish I had thought of that an hour ago. Then just make a little knot. And if it kind of moves in the process, make sure that when you're really tightening it up, you have the leaf where you want it to be. How's that look? I think that looks pretty good. And then this last section right here, I think a little bit shut, not too much up. Maybe right here actually. Right there. don't have to be all the way upright they can just be a little bit and that's totally fine got to figure out the right way to make it work leaving it loose is better than too tight we don't want to constrict its growth by tying it too tightly to the stem well how does it look it's definitely more upright um i think it looks better it's what i was trying to achieve and it's going to fit in my corner perfectly so should we go move it inside? Let's go move it inside. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty darn good. This is definitely has the shape that I was looking for. I wanted that upright growth kind of look. It fills out this corner really well. It's gonna be an awesome anchoring plant for the rest of my house plant garden as I refill it with more plant beauties. So I think plant number one is a success. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope it was a little bit informative learning how to use the moss poles and how to kind of train your plants to grow um, in that upright direction in accordance with that moss pole. And also in a way that's kind of low key and not too obtrusive. Anyways, stay tuned as I continue to fill the rest of my houseplant jungle with more plant life. And I'm gonna be making it out to the outdoor garden to do some uh, nice, fall pruning as well. So stick around, I'll catch you later. One thing that you'll notice is that I have this string. Basically, I wrap the string around where I want it to hold up, and then I take the string and I do an entire loop around the moss pole, just like that, and then tie it there. 